Hi, it's Katrina. My friend David is going to be helping me out with the voiceover today, so I hope you enjoy. Number 10. The Possessed Nun Maria Crocafisa della Concessione was a nun living at the Sicilian convent of Parma de Montechiaro back in 1676. On August 11th, the 31-year-old woman woke up splattered with ink and holding a mysterious note covered in an incomprehensible script of symbols and letters. Historical records say that Sister Maria told everyone the letter was written by the devil who had entered her body through possession. This mysterious evil message remained a jumble of nonsense for centuries. Nobody ever managed to decode the 14 lines of mysterious script until the 2010s. Finally, Daniel Abati and his team of researchers used special software to identify the various characters used in the nun's letter. It was a jumble of words from Greek, Latin, Arabic, and even ancient runic. But the actual translation is still quite confusing. It sounds like a crazy person's ramblings. Sister Maria wrote that the Holy Trinity was dead weight. She wrote something about God thinking he can free mortals, and she wrote a bewildering passage about the river Styx from Greek mythology. The translation of the letter has proved to be so bizarre that the researchers believe Sister Maria suffered from schizophrenia. She must have had a deep knowledge of ancient languages, which came out during a manic episode. It's unlikely she was actually possessed by the devil, but was mentally unstable and knew nothing except religion, and so her letter was filled with religious ramblings. But this was the 1600s, and anyone who displayed mental abnormalities back then was usually accused of being possessed by one devil or another. Number 9. The House of the Apostles an ancient church has been discovered near the Sea of Galilee in Israel, and researchers believe the remains of a house found underneath it may have once been the home of the Christian apostles Peter and Andrew, two of the men pictured in the Last Supper. A group of excavators from all over the world made the discovery in June of 2019. The church was constructed during the Byzantine period and has been nicknamed the Church of the Apostles. Records from 725 AD, when the Bavarian bishop named Willibald passed through the area, show that there was a large church standing there. It was supposedly a basilica that had been constructed over the house that Peter and Andrew shared. For those unfamiliar with the story, Peter and Andrew were the first disciples of Jesus Christ. They had been fishing out on the Sea of Galilee when Jesus first asked him to join his ministry. And this buried house may very well have been where they actually lived 2,000 years ago. Number 8. Christian Martyrs The Christian saints Chrysanthus and Daria have been legends for centuries, but according to new evidence, these Christian martyrs may have actually been real people living in the 3rd century AD. Just like the legend says, they may have converted thousands of Romans to Christianity before being arrested by the authorities and buried alive in a sand pit. The evidence comes in the form of skeletal human remains discovered in 2008. These bones were recovered from the Cathedral of the Reggio Emilio family in northern Italy during renovations. Workers found over 150 bones hidden underneath the altar in a sealed crypt. The bones belonged to only two skeletons, the shattered bodies of two men who had been trapped down there since 1651. Whoever these guys were, they were extremely important since their skulls were found packed inside gold and silver containers deep in the vault. Scientists ran multiple tests on the skeletal remains as one of the first comprehensive investigations into the bones of alleged Christian saints. The church cooperated and everyone was very excited to actually prove for the first time in history the bones of living, breathing martyrs existed. And sure enough, carbon dating showed the skeletons died somewhere around 283 AD and they suffered major lead poisoning. This was pretty common in ancient Rome, since lead was everywhere from the food to the wine. But the tests also showed that one skeleton belonged to a woman and the other to a man. They were both the exact ages that Chrysanthus and Daria were when they died. And so, all the evidence points to these saintly legends having been very real people. 
The discovery has made scientists a little shocked, because if the story of Chrysanthus and Daria is true, how many more biblical tales might be rooted in reality? Number 7. The Demon Pazuzu Almost all of the great demons of ancient Mesopotamia have faded into the history books. Horrifying creatures like the demon Humbaba no longer strike fear into the hearts of the living. But there is one demon that's still around today, a demon by the name of Pazuzu that somehow managed to sneak its way into popular culture in the 21st century. Ancient texts describe Pazuzu as the son of Hanbu and the king of all the wind demons. He is depicted as a rather ugly monster that stands on two legs, has claws for hands, a double pair of wings, the tail of a scorpion, male genitalia twisted into the form of a snake, and the head of a beast with horns and a snarling dog mouth. Roughly 3,000 years ago, the people of Mesopotamia wore amulets with his picture on them, and in 1973, Pazuzu was the demon who possessed a 12-year-old girl in the movie The Exorcist. There have been more statues, amulets, and bronze pendants found depicting Pazuzu than almost any other demon in history. There's a stone plaque of Pazuzu from Mesopotamia in the 8th or 6th century BC held at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, along with a bronze head of Pazuzu crafted around the same time, also found in ancient Mesopotamia. Number 6. The Holy Prepuce The Holy Prepuce, or the Holy Foreskin, is exactly what it sounds like. This bizarre Christian relic is supposedly the leftover of Jesus Christ's circumcision. According to the legends, because Jesus was born as a Jewish boy, he was circumcised at eight days old, and his foreskin was then kept as a treasure all the way into the Middle Ages. In fact, there were no less than a dozen churches across Western Europe that claimed to hold a piece of this holy relic. Nobody knows if this thing actually survived into the Middle Ages or which church really owned it. But one of the alleged foreskin relics came into the possession of Pope Leo III in the year 799, given as a gift by King Charlemagne. It then remained in the Sancta Sanctorum in Rome up until the city was attacked in 1527 by the troops of Charles V. After Rome was invaded and half the population was slaughtered, most of the holy relics were either destroyed or scattered. Thirty years later, the holy prepuce supposedly surfaced in the small village of Calcutta. Historical documents show that the Pope even confirmed the relic to be real and decreed that it would stay in the village for the rest of time. It was housed in the Church of the Holy Name. And every year on January 1st, a local priest would lead a procession around the village while holding on to this rather disgusting piece of holy treasure. This lasted until 1983. Just weeks before the annual procession was to happen, the relic was reported missing. Some say the Vatican took it back to hold in their secret archives, while others believe it was stolen by a group of Satanists. Another theory is that it was taken and sold on the black market. Whatever the case, the Holy Prepuce has been missing ever since. What do you think happened to the Holy Prepuce? Do you believe it even existed? Let me know in the comments below and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 5. Demon Burials In a Polish cemetery, archaeologists came across five skeletons that had been buried in a barbaric and bizarre fashion. These five individuals had been put into the ground with sickles placed at their throats. This was actually an obscure burial practice that researchers believe was meant to protect the dead from demons chasing them into the afterlife. Either that, or the sickles were meant to prevent the death from rising out of their graves and tormenting the living. Excavations at the ancient Dravsko Cemetery began back in 2008, and even though researchers have found graves from the Bronze Age, these creepy demon burials date back to around 400 years ago. One of the victims was a man who died around the age of 35. Another was a woman around the same age who had her skull completely crushed, likely because of farming that took place over the graves centuries after she was buried. There was another woman found buried with no teeth, a coin in her mouth, and a rock on her throat. Researchers say this particularly strange grave suggests the woman was likely considered a witch. Unfortunately, the archaeologists can't completely agree on what the sickle in the graves truly meant 
to these medieval people, but it definitely has something to do with demons, either to protect the dead from demons or to protect the living from the dead turning into demons. Number 4. Jesus's Twin Brother Professor Dale Martin from Yale University recently revealed the bizarre theory that Jesus actually had a twin brother and that his name was Didymus Judas Thomas. The professor says that Jesus' brother's real name was probably Judas and that Didymus and Thomas had just been nicknames. That's interesting because the word Didymus is Greek for twin, and of course also because Judas was the man who sold Jesus out to the Romans as a betrayer. But here's what a lot of people don't know. There's actually a strand of Christianity that's been popular for hundreds of years called Thomasine Christianity and it flourished in the Middle East where they treated the Apostle Thomas with quite a bit of reverence. Many of the Thomasine Christians think Thomas was the twin brother of Jesus, which makes him almost just as important as Christ himself. But like so many things from the Bible, this is really just a theory. Orthodox Christians don't believe Jesus had any siblings, and that Didymus Judas Thomas was only a complex nickname for Thomas, who was actually a twin brother of some other unknown character. Then again, there's also the opinion that Thomas and Jesus were indeed brothers, but in a more spiritual, divine way than being bound by blood. Number 3. The Body of Saint Dacian there is a corpse in a Manhattan church that was put there to avoid being stolen by the Italian government. It's the body of Saint Dacian, an obscure Roman martyr. It's not actually his whole body, but his skeleton that's been contained inside of a wax replica of his body, which is almost worse than if it were just his bones on display. The thing about Saint Dacian is that nobody really knows who he was. We don't know when he died, we don't know why he was such an important martyr, and we're not even sure where his bones came from. All we know is that in 1892, they were kept in the private chapel of a wealthy Italian woman. But when she ran out of money to keep her private chapel going, the Italian government moved in to seize her belongings, including the bones of her saint. To avoid the bones being thrown out with the trash, she donated them to the Church of the Most Holy Redeemer in Manhattan. The bones were shipped there and are still on display in the small church, along with a trove of treasures from over 150 various saints. Number 2. Jesus on Ice Most of us are familiar with the story of Jesus walking on water. If you're not sure of all the specific details, they can be found in the New Testament, where it describes Jesus walking across the surface of the Sea of Galilee as one of his miracles. But according to a new and shocking study done by Professor Doran Knopf at Florida State University, that probably never happened. The professor says that instead of walking on water, Jesus probably walked on an isolated patch of ice, thereby tricking the locals into thinking he could do miracles. It all has to do with a localized freezing phenomenon brought on by water and atmospheric conditions. 2,000 years ago, it wasn't uncommon for small patches of ice to form on the freshwater surface of the sea. Between 2,500 and 1,500 years ago, there were two prolonged periods of extreme cold. And when one of these cold snaps hit, small, nearly invisible slivers of ice could be found on the edge of the sea. Researchers now believe Jesus had probably figured this out himself and had walked across a patch of very thin floating ice that nobody knew was there. This would have given the illusion that he really was walking across water. Number 1. The Relics of Muhammad The relics of Muhammad are like the Islamic version of the holy relics of Jesus. These relics were supposed things that belonged to the Islamic prophet Muhammad thousands of years ago and are kept at various mosques and mausoleums across the modern Islamic world. There's the sacred seal kept in a small ebony box in Topkapi, Turkey, supposedly used by Muhammad himself when writing documents. There's the blessed sandals that were supposedly worn by Muhammad and four of his teeth that were knocked out of his head during the Battle of Uhud when he was struck by a battle axe. There are multiple supposed footprints of Muhammad preserved in plaster. One of them is at the Eyup Sultan Mosque complex in Istanbul. But perhaps strangest of all is the beard of Muhammad, which was supposedly shaved from his face by his favorite barber, and all these years later is still kept in a glass case. 
What do you think is the most outrageous religious artifact out there? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon for another amazing video on ancient history.